Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to configure the built-in firewall on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know Proxmox has a built-in firewall actually built into it. Okay so this built-in firewall can be applied on different levels. Okay. So the first level is the data center level. So if I click on my data center here inside my Proxmox, and if I go here to the bottom, you can see there is a section dedicated to the firewall. Okay. So if I click on this option, you can see here by default, the firewall on Proxmox is disabled. Okay. So this is here the parameter firewall equal to no, which means by default, the Proxmox built-in firewall is disabled. So this is the first level, okay? The second level is at the node actually level. So if I click on this Proxmox node here, so my node is actually has a name as Proxmox01, you will find it has also the same section, okay? So this is the firewall section. If I click on options, you will see that is also actually disabled okay and finally there is uh, LXC container or actually the VM level so if I click in any VM or container here so for example let's take this one here Arch Linux you will find that it has also firewall section that you can configure actually the firewall configuration and also by default is no disabled okay so we have three levels and each level actually we can configure the firewall okay but, okay but here you have to notice one important thing if you apply the firewall to the decenter level it will apply to all the nodes that you have okay so here i have for example only one node so if i apply the firewall rules on the data center level it will apply to the node also okay but they will not apply to the lxc containers or vms okay and if i apply a firewall or enable the firewall on the node level they will not affect the firewalls on each vm or actually uh, container also so you have to keep that in mind okay okay so the first thing first we have to enable the firewall on the global level which is the data center level so if I go here to the data center actually to the firewall section okay to the options in order as I told you to enable the firewall we have actually to enable it here in this data center level so before changing actually this firewall from no to yes you will notice here that they have an input policy which is actually drop which means all the incoming traffic will be dropped and this traffic is included is inclu including actually the web GUI access as you can see here on my web browser and also if I want actually to access also the proxmox via for example an ssh client okay so it's not safe to activate it just like that because you can be locked out and you will not be actually allowing to access your proxmox GUI or proxmox via ssh okay so the better way is to actually uh, change this input policy from drop to accept then enable the firewall so in this case you will not be locked out so let's do that so in order to change this input for policy from uh, drop to yes double click on it and change the input policy from drop to accept so in this case we'll be sure that when enabling the firewall will not be locked out okay and then we can activate the firewall which is disabled by default so let's click on it or double click on it actually and check this checkbox actually okay okay so now the firewall is enabled on the global level okay 
and here I will show I will show you a trick. So let's say that you forget to change this input policy from drop to accept. You leave it to drop, and you enable the firewall actually from no to yes. Then in this case you will be locked out. So how can you access your Proxbox? So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is to connect to it physically via a keyboard and a monitor and also to log in via the console so i will simulate that using this shell actually so all you have to do is to open special file this file is actually named cluster.fw and this is the path to it it's slash etc slash pve slash firewall so you have to open it and you will find that the enable is equal to actually one which means firewall is enabled okay so all you have to do is to change it from one to zero and reboot your server then you will actually gain once again access to your proxbox via web GUI, as you can see here or via ssh so only you have to do that if you are locked out okay so this is just a simple trick that you can do in order to solve the problem not having access to your prox box okay so as i told you now we have actually activated our firewall globally on our prox box okay so now let's configure actually a firewall on a, for example an lxc container or vm so for example let's test it on this vm here which is not a VM, it's, just, it's actually a container called the LXC container which has as an IP address 192.168.1.100 so let's try to connect to it via SSH so as you can see here for the firewall options is disabled by default so there is no firewall applied to this Arch Linux container so let's open for example here a client so I will use this client and I will try to connect to it via SSH. So normally I will get access to it because I have no firewall enabled. Here we go. So all I have to do is to enter my password. Actually, I guess as I mistype it. So let's type it once again. Okay, so I am in. So I have access. So I can execute any command. For example, you name to check the version so okay everything is good i can access my container here via ssh okay so i will exit that and now let's enable actually the firewall on the level here so remember as i told you if you apply a firewall to the decentral level it will not affect the vms or containers and the same things actually happened if you apply it to the node level it will not affect the containers or vms okay so now i'm on the container level so let's activate the firewall here so i'll change it from no to yes by checking this box here okay so now the firewall is activated for this special container so let's open once again our client here and let's try to connect it via ssh so I'll enter the same command and you can see now that I don't have the prompt to enter my password because actually the firewall has prevented us from accessing this container, okay? So as you can see here, connect to host connection timeout which means actually a firewall is applied okay so now let's create a simple load that allows my machine which has an IP address 192.168.1.15 to access actually this special container so I can do that very easily so here all I have to do is to click on this firewall here and add a rule okay and here the direction is in because we want to actually access the container I will enable it and source here I can enter for example the IP address of my uh, machine 
which is that one that 50 or I can even enter subnet mask for example for it to allow all the subnet to access this container so here all the IP addresses that start with 192.168.1 that, that, that something will access actually this Arch Linux machine okay and the destination port is actually 22 okay so here the only thing that I have to add is the protocol which is for SSH is actually TCP okay and here I can uh, leave any comment if I want for example allow SSH access so here even the firewall is on we have added a rule to allow the subnet to access my container so let's add this rule here we go it's been added and now let's test once again the access to our uh, container here we go this is our client so let's connect to it once again so as you can see now I can access it because my PC is on the same subnet okay so of course I can execute Linux machine or Linux commands okay so you can see how easy it is to configure actually a rule depending on in you, in your needs in order to access any container or actually VM okay so in this video I tried to actually uh, show you how to configure the firewall on Proxbox so this process is slightly confusing because there are actually technically three different sections when you can create firewall rules so there is the data center, data center level the node level and VM or container level but as soon as you understand that actually uh, VMs and containers will not inher inherit node rules it starts to get easier to understand okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to configure actually a firewall on Proxmox so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment or like as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.